Imagine you're on a flight, seated and buckled in, ready for takeoff. Then the captain's voice comes over the speakers, but it's a woman's voice instead of a man's. How would you feel? Nervous, more at ease, or would it make no difference to you? From a poll I did on Instagram, most of you said you'd feel more comfortable if the captain was male. So let's check the facts and see if you're right. Let me start by saying that worldwide female pilots make up only about 5% of all pilots. There are historical reasons for this. The field of aviation began and developed out of military needs, not tourism. Air travel started in 1914 during World War I, when airplanes were first used as weapons of war. Back then, women were not allowed to fly, they didn't participate in combat at all, and they weren't even allowed to vote, but that's a story for another video. Commercial and leisure air travel as we know it today became popular and accessible mainly in the 1960s, about 50 years later. The first pilots were mostly men coming from the Air Force. Women began to join as pilots mainly from the 1980s onward, following the feminist movement that brought many social changes, including in the workforce. To this day, the aviation field is still largely dominated by men, with only about 5% of pilots being women. Now, back to the question. Is it safer to fly with male pilots? A study conducted in the U.S. examined 3,500 helicopter pilots and found that women were involved in only 3% of the accidents, even though they made up about 10% of the pilots. A larger study also found that the overall accident rate among male pilots was higher, and their accidents tended to be more severe. In contrast, the accident rate among female pilots was significantly lower relative to their participation rate. These findings aren't surprising, as we see similar patterns on the road. Men are responsible for about 80% of fatal car accidents in the U.S. and Europe. The reason for this isn't entirely clear, but experts suggest that women tend to take fewer unnecessary risks because they have lower levels of testosterone, the hormone linked to risk-taking, arrogance, and impulsive reactions. As a result, women are generally more cautious in decision-making, weigh risks more carefully, and follow protocols more strictly. In summary, next time you hear a woman in the cockpit, feel more at ease. The chances of being involved in an accident or incident are roughly four times higher when the pilot is a man.